So I'll go ahead to make some changes over there. When we get back, we realize that that little mistake has actually been solved. So it was just a, a mistake that we did earlier by instead of inputting W, we actually input went to input A. So now that we have done with that, I think we can move ahead. So I want us to go ahead to mesh. Uh, let's make it fine. And let's build on. Okay, so there's, there's a domain that's it's much thinner than the specified minimum element. So let's go back. Let me make it normal. So what I'll do is I'll make a physics controlled. That is okay. I think we will just accept it that way. Then I want us to add a stationary steady. Just add a, st a steady, stationary steady. For our work so we can compute. This gives us a result for a stationary steady. Uh, uh, the surface. Nice plots. Let's disable the motors and go to the temperature, the temperature distribution. We want to add our arrow surface to this work and go to metric kinds if we transfer domain fluxes then 
we want to select the total heat energy. Go to the arrow position and we want it to be uniform. The number of arrows, let's reduce it a bit. This is a bit. Okay, so now let's plot. As you can see, the arrows in here. And clearly see the arrows for the total heat flux, the direction of the total heat flux. I want us to add a 1D plot group, which will label as the temperature along the copper roots. And Let's define the, okay, let's just make this side the lower right. This side is the lower right. And what we need to add again is line graph. That we want it from we want it from this section. That's what we want. Uh, this should be the temperature. Which is Kelvin. And legends want it's manual. I want that to be the base. Go ahead to plot it and we have this graph, this line graph, as you can see in here. So you can also add another line graph or yeah, we can add another line graph. Let's duplicate this to number two. That's our second line graph. And we're gonna clear this section. We're going to look for a different region to as well. So that will be for this side. And it's going to be the collector. Okay, so we have that for the collector. Look back to line one. Guide to shipping on. Okay. So basically, this is what we have. Some of the results that we've been able to plot from this work.
you can see the lyrics as automatic or no no either of them is okay and uh, let's go to the temperature along copper axis So let's label the y axis to be the distance. Connector. And we have it here. So basically this brings us to the end of this work. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. So I hope you're able to follow to this end. And if there are any questions, kindly let me know in the comment section. So I'll see you in the next video.